Hi class, this is Corrine, your teacher. I just wanted to let you know that I'm almost done reading your magazine articles and they're really, really cool. I, I loved reading about each of you and you guys made some really creative covers to your magazine, so those have been great. I also wanted to let you know that I have a grader working with me for this class. Her name is Maggie Guzman, and so you may see her name on some of your grading and in some of your comments. She will make comments as well as I will make comments if we do take off any points. So opening up the comment section in your assignments can help you understand why you missed points, if any. I also wanted to just give you some quick advice on studying for the midterms. Um, this class contains a lot of information. The book contains a lot of information specifically. So if it was me personally, what I would do is I would either print the PowerPoint slides for my lectures and or have them on my computer. Then I would listen to the video recorded lectures. And again, sorry that they're like B, B plus ish as far as uh, recording wise goes, they're not perfect. But I would listen to those lectures and I would use those lectures to write additional notes on the PowerPoints that I had downloaded. And then I would go through the chapters in the book using my notes, Corrine's notes, and your notes, the ones you took on the PowerPoints as kind of a guide on what we will be focusing on. Because there are actually a few sections in some of the chapters that I don't even cover at all or that I don't cover in that much detail. And if I don't cover it in that much detail, I'm only gonna hold you accountable for what I've covered on my PowerPoint slides. Um, because otherwise there's just too much to know. Your midterms are 50 questions each. They are all Scantron multiple choice, and there's approximately six to 10 questions from each chapter. So depending on how many chapters will be covered, there may be a few more, there may be a few less. All right, I hope you're having a good quarter so far. Oh, uh, about the magazine covers, everybody got five out of five. The only reason you might have missed one point is if you turned in your magazine cover late, um, meaning you didn't turn it in by Friday, and maybe you turned it in Saturday or Sunday, or if you didn't reply to other students. Um, but content-wise, they were fantastic, and I really enjoyed getting to know you. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to meet some of you in person. Okay, I'm going to end this now, and I hope that you guys have a great day.